Hey, Susie, she's on the line from Baltimore, Maryland. Hey, Our Susie. first victim, Hello. I mean, a caller. Hello, Susie, how are how you? How are you? Hi, Leo. Hi, Patrick. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Hey, I, I met you and your sister, didn't I? Yes, you did. I did. And when we were in Baltimore, Megan yes, and I, did. Susie and her sister, what's your sister's name? Nancy. Nancy, that's right. You chased us all over the mall, didn't you? But my husband's watching, Leo. <laughs> Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> Let's take another call. <laughs> Actually, you gave you gave us some nice cookies and stuff. It was very nice of you. We appreciate it. What can we do for you, Susie? Okay, I just bought a new computer. Mm. It's got a 120 gig hard drive Whoa! and it's not partitioned. That's a big hard drive. Yeah, how about that? Isn't that cool? And uh, nowadays, I imagine every computer should come with 120 gigs. Why not? It's only 100 bucks. Pardon? So you want to partition it, huh? Well, I don't know. I'm asking you yes. guys if I should don't you think partition you should? it. Because I've no heard requirement. that There's you that... should separate your program file, your programs from your data files, and I wanted to know if that was yes. actually true. Yes, I think yeah, There's that. three or four different, all very good reasons for partitioning a hard drive. One is so basically you just don't have this one giant space. Less of a concern under Windows XP and running NTFS because it's so much more stable. Two, so again, you can separate your data. I like to put all my data on one partition of a drive or on a second hard drive. So that if horrible things go wrong with the operating system, I can just wipe that puppy flat out, start all over again without losing all my data. Right, heaven oh, forbid. Yeah, also a good idea if you do any video editing or sound editing or anything to have a partition just for media files that doesn't get fragmented exactly. because it makes it so that, you know, I'm, I make an M drive that's my media drive and I use that for video editing and I don't ever put anything on that besides video right. files so that I don't get fragmentation issues. So make a D drive for your data and an M drive for your uh, media. Some people separate program files out. I don't. I yeah. now I used to do that, and I now keep it in the same partition as Windows. It's because you have more to reinstall. You have to. Yeah, Windows yeah. doesn't like it, and you have to reinstall the program anyway if you're going to reinstall the operating system. So I just put the program files in, the, in, in Windows in the same. I used to have games on a separate directory. Right. I don't even do that anymore. So you're going to at least have that. And what I would also suggest is the very first partition you make before you make anything else is a swap partition. Because a, for your for your Windows page file, because well, you know I saw that in your book, Leo, but it, I didn't know what that meant. It is in my book. Windows and all other operating systems that are at least halfway modern, if you, to, in order that they degrade gracefully if they run out of memory, will have an area of the hard drive that you use to replace RAM if they run out of RAM. Right. Now it can slow your machine down a lot by keeping the swap file on the fastest part of the drive. That is the first partition, and by having it have a separate partition so it doesn't get fragmented, you will uh, somewhat increase the speed of the swap file. In some cases, as much as 10 and 20 percent, I've seen people give results that much difference. So make a swap file. I have a separate temp folder partition, and then also partitions for your programs, windows, and data and sometimes media, and that should do yeah. it. I, I, I usually two partitions, one for data, one for everything That's else, enough. and try to use a second hard drive. Yeah. For, That's for the best way to do it, of course, yeah. yeah. Uh, and how big should a Windows partition be? Eight gigs at least. At, eight, if you put the programs in there, applications. Yeah, make it, make it 20 gigs. You've got a lot of space. Yeah. All right, Susie, hey, thank you so much for the call. I appreciate it. Folks, don't go anywhere. I got a chance to get out of the studio and do a little computer triage. I helped out Jane Goodall, you know, the gorilla expert. I helped her. Uh,